Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I will show you another quote-unquote aesthetic laptop video. So if you haven't watched my other customization videos, I will include a playlist below. And in this tutorial, I will share with you a Canva template so you can easily edit the content of your own wallpaper organizer. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. The first step we'll be doing is to open canva.com. On the create a design button, search for desktop wallpaper, or you can add your custom dimensions. After having a blank canvas, open another Canva tab and search for a monthly planner on the search bar. Canva has a variety of free 2022 calendar templates. Choose the one you prefer. So I selected this design. Then next is to go back to the other Canva tab, upload a screenshot or photo of your color palette. You can find some on Pinterest or colorhunt.co and I will be using this neutral shades. Next is to set a background color for your wallpaper. You can click on the plus icon, then the color picker feature and choose your preferred color from the palette. Open the monthly calendar you chose a while ago, select the January monthly planner and copy it or press Ctrl C on your keyboard. Going back to the other Canva tab, paste the calendar and adjust its size. Next is to add some shapes by clicking on the elements tab. I choose here this rounded edge shape, adjust it until it can cover the calendar. Set a color on the shape. Then click on position and send the shape to the back. Move the calendar where you want to place it and also the shape. And next is to duplicate the shape and add some dividers or organizers to your wallpaper. It depends on you on how many shapes you want to include. So I added here four additional shapes and on the text tab, add a text box. Then type your preferred name or title for each organizer. Choose the font and font size you want. So I set the text to moon time. Then duplicate it and repeat the process for other organizers. Next is to add another text box and just copy and paste the text on a specific organizer. Adjust the size and transparency of the other text. Then I change the font to mont and set a brown font color on the text. Adjust the letter spacing of the word, then repeat this process to the other organizers. You can also change the month text placing, font and font color. So I set its font to Balgin, then just edit it a bit more. On the blank space, you can add a photo or a quote. Here, I just search for a beige photo on Pinterest, then save them. But if you want it to be more personalized, you can add your own photo. And going back to Canva, on the Elements tab, search for a frame. And I will use this rounded edge frame. Adjust the size and upload the photo you saved a while ago. Drag the photos to the frame and you can also adjust and crop them. Here I just edited the colors and next, I will search for some beige photos for the background. You can skip this part if you want to have a plain color background instead. I chose this beige cloth photo and adjusted its size until it covered the whole background. Send the photo to the back and adjust its transparency. I then adjusted the color of the organizers. You can also add some designs or elements to your wallpaper. Here I searched for some boho designs. You can look for other design depending on your theme. Adjust their sizes, color, and transparency. I added here some stars and some leaves design. After setting the calendar, you can now add the events or dates you want to note or remember. This can serve as somewhat your monthly planner. Add a text box, then type the event. Set the font and font color you want. 
place it to your desired date and on the elements tab you can search for an icon or design or can upload your own photo that can represent the event you can add as many events as you want and after that is to duplicate the page and go back to the other canva tab highlight and copy the february month paste it on the wallpaper organizer and adjust the size make sure they have the same size so they will be aligned also it is much better to group the calendar before you adjust them and next is to highlight the january calendar and delete it replace it with the february calendar and ungroup the elements copy the february text then delete it paste it on the other text box to retain the format or style and the placing of the text then repeat the process by adding some events to your calendar. You can add holidays, birthdays, etc. depending on your schedule. Repeat this process for all 12 months. So since the colors of the dates in the grid is kind of too dark for me, you can easily change their colors in just a few clicks. Click on the text, then choose the font color you like. Below, you will see a change all button where it will determine those texts or elements having that specific color and it will be replaced instantly with the color you want. After editing the wallpaper, you can now save it to your device. So it will be saved as a zip file. Transfer those wallpaper photos to your folder on your desktop or your laptop. And you can now change your wallpaper. Go to settings under the personalization tab click on background and choose the wallpaper for the current month you can now arrange your apps on your desktop going back to settings then personalization click on the colors and choose an accent color you want you can also add a custom color then click done Choose the mode you prefer, either dark or light. Next is to set the lock screen wallpaper. I believe I got mine from Unsplash. On the touch keyboard option, you can also choose a theme you prefer or set a color that you want. I think you will see this once you enable the keyboard on your screen. And now we will set a theme for our Google Chrome or our window. Click on the three dots at the corner and under settings, click on appearance, then the theme option. If you're wondering, I've been using a marble theme on my Chrome window. Click on the Chrome Web Store icon above, choose themes and here they will show you a variety of designs. Choose the one that fits your theme or you can search for one on the search bar. Here I will look for a brown or beige theme. Click on the one you prefer and add it to Chrome. It will then change and here it is. And yes, yeah, so here is the result. That is all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!